In this video, we're going to explore how we can create these wonderful sorted tooltips here. So if you have a stack bar, and maybe you might experience quite commonly that you want to sort the tooltip just to make it more nice in ascending or descending order, basically. So how can we do this? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly here, no matter how the tooltip is being organized, it will be nicely sorted in exactly from high to low. So let's start and explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on a very specific question of one of the viewers, which is how to sort a tooltip in a stack bar chart in Chart.js. So this is a part of a question which consists of multiple aspects, but because it's quite advanced, breaking it down into single videos would be the best part. All right, so first of all, I want to show you where this question came from. It came from the stack bar in the video on how to draw a stack bar in Chart.js. And in here, there was some communication already with Datu Prasant. So a special thank you for Datu Prasant for asking the question. And here, this was the question basically. So what he's been trying to do. So he said, thanks bro, I've been trying to sort a stack, uh, the stack inside the bar in descending order, but it is not working for me. And even uh, sorting each stack inside the bar is also not appearing in a sorted visual manner. Please make a video on that. All right, so let's look at this question because we need to look at this question on three levels. We have to create a stack bar. Once we have to create the stack bar, we need to sort the stack bar from high to low. And then, this is another part of it, we are going to have the stack or every individual stack being sorted as well. So you have a sorted stack bar with a sorted stack within every one of those bars. So we have every stack we need to be so sorted. And then we need to make sure the tooltip itself is sorted as well. So it matches everything with each other. So we're going from high to low, from the highest bar to lowest bar. And then every individual bar needs to be st uh, sorted out as well. And then we need to match the tooltip with that. Because of this, this is a very complicated matter. We have to break it down, and I'll break it down in three videos, and I'm going to first focus on the tooltip, because this is the most easiest one, and probably most people will prefer to do this instead of sorting everything in the stack bar. All right, so how are we going to do this? First of all, we're going to go here on Chart.js3, getting started, I'll just, this is my personal site here where I just grab all, all my codes here, I just copy the code and you can just copy it as well. Just go to chartjs3.com doc slash chart slash getting started. And in here I have this. This is just to save time in my demo videos. And of course, if you see the website, forgive me about the design. Um, I'm updating it as well. However, I paste it in here. I add up the title as well. Save that. Let's go back here, refresh. So we have this now. And what I want to do now, I want to create quickly uh, extra data sets to create a stack bar. So we're going to copy this and it's going to put in a paste and comma. Oh, make sure this is a comma, not a dot. Do I have it here? All right. So then I will change here. This will be maybe sales. And then I'll just say, uh, I'll just grab this color. So you will see the colors will be slightly different because this is the third color was probably the green color. And I would say, well, great. Green is sales. Then we have here the number of votes. Well, let's say this is the revenue and a revenue will be light blue, which is the second color in the bar. So I'm going to just grab that color and remove everything else. All right. So if I save this now, I would have some sample values or colors. Oh, all right, this yellow, that's fine as well. What I want to do here is I want to stack them with other, but I want to give them some random numbers so you can see the differences or else the filtering will not work at all. So I'm going to put in here a low number or four. I'll just put some random numbers here. Let's just make this four, four, four. And here, I'll just do all kinds of things I can imagine about. And you can use anything else. I'll just ramble them up. Just get some random numbers. Just to ensure that you have some differences. So if I save this here now, all together, we have all different numbers. As you can see here, right now, if you look at the tooltip, the tooltip looks like it's sort. Oh, sorry, before we even do this, let's make this a stack bar. How to make a stack bar, very simple here. X, this, comma, and then here, we will say stacked true. 
it's a boolean so that's it all right and then here as well we get at zero comma stacked true save that there we are refresh so now we have a stack bar here with some random colors here everything beautiful but as you can see here right now this looks like a uh, descending order and if I talk about descending order it starts at the highest value and goes down to the lowest value so the very top has the highest value and the lowest value will be at the bottom but if you see this this is not 100% accurate because if you go in here this will be the highest value all right that's fine as well but here you can see now that the highest value is the number of sales which is the lowest one here so this is not on descending order or ascending order but the, it is based on the data set as you can see here this is the first data set second and third the first data set which is red in this or this red square goes at the very top the second one is here in the middle and the third one is below this is why here the order is exactly the same but here as well the yellow one is referring to this one here and this yellow is here oh sorry this number three yellow is the, yeah that's the lowest one here is this the number of votes and then here this yellow here which is the number of sales is eight so this is just by default this is a default setting so we're going to change this how do we change that luckily it's quite easy once you understand how and all we need to do is we have to have some understanding of two tips go into charge yes official documentation and right now it's charge yes 3.4.1 in here in the two tips we're going to look for the item sort let's see here it's some well it's not an, this is certainly not an alphabetic order so i'll just say here item item sort there you are so when you have the item sort here this is what it does is it sorted two tip items by default it's not being sorted it is only sorted based on well probably it's by default sorted on the index number of the data set so meaning that whatever is the first data set that's how it's being sorted so what we want to do is we want to change it but we want to change it based on the data itself or the values that the data the data point contains so we're going to let's say we're going to first do it on a ascending order meaning the lowest value on the top and the highest value at the bottom all right so let's look at this so we're going to use the sort callback here which is basically helping us and it, and the term of the sort callback is item sort Let's look at that. Am I correct? Because it was item sort. Uh, where are you? Item sort. Let's type correctly. All right. This is it. And this is a function here. Very straightforward. Sort item uh, tooltip items. And if I'm not mistaken here, I'm not sure if it's indicated, but probably by default it is the data set number. So this is data set one. Uh, this was data set one. So that's why it grabs the first one here. And then this is number two. And number three here all right so what we're going to do here now is we're just going to make here a in the options i'm going to say your plugins then open up here and then we can say here tool tip what i want to do here comma i put in a comma here yes both sides why are you doing this here because i'm going to give it a, a new block i'll make a con a tool tip block and this tool tip block will be named constant tool tip this is the reason why there's a comma because if it's indicating that the constant is same as uh, the object itself you can use it if this would be two tip number two this needs to be changed to two tip two very straightforward two tip two because that's the constant you're referring to but in our case now we can use the shorthand of this destructuring objects all right we have this here constant two tip equals and then we have here the curly brackets and then or the, sorry the curly braces and then semicolon and then in here we will say the following so what we're going to do in here is basically we're going to say in this tooltip we will be using the item sort and the item sort is a function and how we're going to sort it well we're going to sort a and b that's the values that we want which are basically the values that we're going to specify what you can do here basically you can do a lot of things and you might get confused on how or what so if i scroll down here you will find something here at this one here specifically this is going to be the one we're going to need we have the pars we have the labels we have the object uh, this is probably the one where it's currently being sorted on it's the index of the data set item that comes from all right so to make sure you understand what i'm talking about here because this is of course no meaning to you let's 
do a console.log a. Yes, we just want to show or log the a value here. Basically, a and b is the array that we're going to use. And now I'm going to show you how this array looks like. So if I hover over it, at that very moment, the array will be triggered here. So basically, we're going to grab the object here. You can see if I hover over again, it, we get a lot of new ones. And don't worry about it. If you hover over it, what happens is basically it's like multiple effects are going in here. So don't worry about that. We just need this. But you can see here, we get the data index number four, which is correct because this is zero. And remember, index is zero based. So an index, we say index zero here, but basically if you would communicate to someone, we say this is the first element in the array. But you cannot say index zero because it doesn't mean anything because it doesn't sound weird. So we say the first element, which is index zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's why index four. Then we were just probably hovering on the blue one or on the yellow one where we get the index data set. So we will see here the items we have and which one we ever have to hover on top. And it will just grab that one. This is the index two, which is purple. And the formatted value is nine. As you can see here, when we were on this yellow one, the big one here, this is index number two again, value nine. But we want the raw value. And the reason I want the raw value, because you also have the formatted value here. What's the difference? If you're going to sort, you must sort on number. You can sort also on, on this, but here you will get a completely different way of sorting because it will look completely different in structure. It doesn't look at the number, but it calculates the character value. So like a string, because it's a string format. So if you want to understand this, I have a video about how to sort arrays in JavaScript, specifically about it. I will put it in the uh, card. You will see it in the corner up here. So we're going to use the raw because that's a number that we want. We want to sort this number here. So if I say here dot raw, save that, and I refresh, and now if I go over here, we get number four. You can see here the numbers that we have. All right. So now we have these numbers and I guess it gets all kind of numbers. Although I wonder where is the other number here. I don't see one of these numbers, but that, that doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do here now is what we're going to do is we're going to return the sorted value. Basically we say B, but that probably explains it why we have here an A and not a B. So we say here, we're going to do it in a, a descending way. So we say raw B minus a dot raw and once we did this semicolon here save that refresh and let's look at our tooltip right now you can see our tooltip has been sorted in a different matter nine four two so it grabs this one you can see and this is in a descending way the highest value first five four one all right is here eight four three then we see here nine four three and then we see here another one twelve four Two. Just to make sure that we are really having a uh, uh, ascending order, I want to change this. So I'm going to put this one here. Remember this one. I'm going to minimize red to value one, meaning that now later on it should be at the very bottom. So if I refresh now, we can see here now we are at the bottom with the tooltip, and this is basically the way how we can sort a tooltip. This is the first part of it. Basically, we are using the raw numbers. We're not using any of the index numbers why the index numbers and the index data set is referring to the specific index here zero and this would be probably zero zero it will be zero one zero two etc etc no need to do that we just want the raw values being sorted out so this is basically the first part of the video of figuring out how to sort a stack bar and then eventually we have to sort these stack bars individually and uh, uh, each of them all together as a whole but also individually. However, that will be in one of the other videos. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box, the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.